My name is Tapindra Loka. I was reading in Government High School Medical Campus. I am the student from TNT Skill Center. So today I want to tell about magnetic levitation train. Short for magnetic levitation is an advanced type of transportation system in which a train travels on a magnetic track, often at a very high speed. What origin for magnet from the first three letter of levitation and the first three letter of levitation? In fact, was first developed by English inventor Eric Lathwaite with the world's fastest commercial maglev system opened in 1984 Birmingham, England. It traveled 600 meter at only 42 km per hour and was closed in 1995 because of reliability and design problems. China's first commercial maglev system, a 30 km of stretch between Shanghai Putanga Airport and city center, it has hit the speed of 431 km per hour and it is the world's fastest commercial maglev system by Shanghai Maglev Transportation Development Company. What are the parts of maglev train? Maglev system comprises five major components namely levitation, guidance, input power transport, propulsion and control system. Levitation force provides upward lift to the vehicle whereas propulsion force is responsible for propelling the vehicle forward. How do maglev trains work? Maglev is a system of train transportation that uses two sets of magnets. One set to push and repose the train ahead and another is elevated to move the train off the track taking advantage of the lack of the friction. The front corner shaped magnet with north pole facing out and the back corner shaped magnet with south pole outward identifying the magnetic fields and push it forward from behind. The floating maglev design creates a smooth strip. How do maglev trains get power? The engine for train is rather inconspicuous instead of the fossil fuels, the magnetic fields created by the guideway walls, the combine, the propel the train, the train used to change the track in a pinch loop system. Maglev do not have rails or wheels. How do maglev trains stop? The superconducting maglev is also equipped with a braking capable system while safely stopping a train traveling at 431 km per hour. Superconducting maglev is also as a wheel disc brakes or aerodynamic brakes. Six commercial maglev systems are currently operational around the world. One is located in Japan, two in South Korea and three in China. China has a speed of 600 km per hour. How high does a maglev train float? The train float between 0.39 to 3.93 inches, 1 to 10 cm above the guideway. Do maglev use more electricity? The power for levitation is typically not a large percentage of coverall power consumption. Cost Shanghai, which is happened to be the world's fastest commercial maglev system in the world, whopping $1.2 billion to build 20 miles long. That is an incredible amount of the capital cost, and that cost is about $60 million per mile of the track. Maglev trains even faster than Japan's famous bullet train, which is currently traveling at 320 km per hour. They will eventually consist 16 carriages carrying up to 1,000 passengers at a time. Maglev train keeps eco-friendly option for those who are traveling the region's toppest economic powerhouses. It can greatly reduce carbon dioxide and pollution emission. Maglev is a design glide through the air, so they fast. There are only bad quality and that is cost, but according to me, it is not bad because there are other benefits which are not available in normal train. Benefits of maglev technology First of all, high level of safety, synchronizer propulsion maglev between unimaginable. High speed, eco-friendly, cost and maintenance, energy efficiency, luxuries, most comfortable, the quickest transportation system, maglev use 30% less energy than a normal train. More than 13,000 train accidents across the country have killed nearly 12,000 railway passengers last year. When maglev system appears, no one may killed by the train accidents. Maglevs cost nothing ahead of the life of these 12,000 people. This technology changed the future. Thank you.